spring is here and it is a great time of year for some home improvements but before the weather gets too hot. Now it also may be a good time to consider upgrading or even replacing your fencing, including that one around your pool. John Gavigan from Allied Fence is back. One of our home pros, yes. one of our favorite guests. John, love when always, you're here. Always love coming here to you know, show our wares and, and talk we've about got, And you've got a lot of choices. Mm -hmm. We've got a lot to talk about here today's segment. So let's first talk about the pool fencing. That's what I just brought up there. Mm -hmm. And really, it is the time of year if people just put in the pool. They're ready to start enjoying it. Yeah, they're ready to start enjoying it and getting it secured so the kids can't get out to it. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you know, uh, and uh, from the pets getting into the pool area to uh, just sprucing the yard up. And I like that you brought up spruce in the yard up because I think some people think fencing and maybe they're a little hesitant because they don't want to have the eyesore. Right. But that's not what your fencing is about. No, the, well, the, the fencing is, is, of course, a barrier, but it's a security bar bar barrier and it's also a security barrier for pools um, to keep the kids, youngins out. Um, and also we have the different styles to, to, to uh, you know, compliment your, your yard. I love that, and I'm, I'm a matchy-matchy. Everyone kind of teases me about that, so I'm gonna want my fence to match everything else. And what are some of the choices that you do have for people when it comes to their pool fencing? Well, we have the um, PVC fence, which we, uh, the standard colors are uh, white and tan, um, and we can then um, uh, add the adornments to the tops of them, the lighting and stuff. All the way over to the other PVC fences, like a wood grain and a cedar color and the, and the, and the darker colors through to the aluminum. And we also offer wood fence too. So as far as um, any type of fence for your yard, we have it. You've got us covered. Now, a few of the things that you just brought up that I kind of want to touch on there, you were talking about these toppers, uh -huh. which I know is a way to even make your fence more personalized, right. customize it to whatever your right. home is looking like right. so that it can match. What are some of the toppers you brought to show well, us today? Well, you can, you can put a gothic cap on top of your uh, fence post to, to kind of give it a little accent, or you can put a solar light on top. Which this some, is what I love. Some some people put them on just a, or on each side of your gate, on your corners, and some people put them on all their posts. Yeah. We also have this solar um, uh, attachments that you can put on the, like here, you see here? Yeah, I don't know if you're able to get a close shot of that because that looks really nice. And that that's actually um, puts a, a light down the post and, and when you put them all um, on like every other post it really acts up your yard, yard at night especially when you're having a party. Well and a party even pets when you have to let them outside at night they've actually got right. that nice glow. Now one thing I'm curious of say you want to you're sitting outside and you're kind of debating on whether or not you need the new fence. What are some things that people need to look for if it is time for an upgrade? Well uh, if you have the old worn out wood fence. Mm -hmm. That's one of the things that people are upgrading from the wood fence to the PVC. If the wood is splintering, cracking, slats falling off the, har the horizontal rails, mm -hmm. or the posts are, are uh, rotted at the ground, that's what you need to look for in a, in a wood fence. Chain link fence sometimes, and people want to upgrade to the aluminum mm -hmm. from chain link. If they don't want to go with the privacy, they'll go to the aluminum. And when they get, uh, the wire gets rusty or the pipe gets rusty, our aluminum fence doesn't rust. One of the things that I think is really positive, too, I mean, after all, you're one of our home pros. Right. The fact you have, and I think we need to point this out, do-it-yourselfers right. can come in and literally do the fence themselves, right. or you can have the consultation and have somebody else. Explain those two options and why you can right. serve everybody. Y you could bring your survey to us. We can... Um, go over over your survey with you, figure out the f lineal footage that you have, mm -hmm. figure the product out for you. We can tell you um, uh, um, material cost or we can do it for you. So, I mean, and, and the, you get, some people want to know what the ordinance is for the area. And mm -hmm. we, we pretty much know 99% of what the ordinance is for backyard fencing. Hey, I don't even have to do research then. Yeah. I'm loving this, John. Yeah. You're taking care of all of the customers in the Bay right. Area. Thank you so much for coming in. And if you want more information, of course, you can just visit the website that you see on your screen. And also, there's their physical address along with their phone number. John, we always appreciate your time. I right. Thank you.